Mm. 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 Hercule versus Dan death battle. All right, so I am very familiar with Hercule. Uh, I used to, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z, but then I realized how not, not. Well, I mean, if, it's fine if you like it. I just don't. It's not my thing anymore. I prefer something with more plot structure and character development. Because when non when non Dragon Ball Z viewers they say all it is is screaming, they are pretty much right. Just read the manga because watching the anime is a waste of time. But okay, so for this battle, I do think Hercules is gonna win, because I mean Dan just stinks. Hercule technically is the world martial art champion. Dan has nothing. I mean he does have a few a few moves, but. I don't think it's enough to stop Hercule, so I think Hercule's gonna win, even though he won the mon one minute melee. I still think he's gonna win here. Three, two, one, go! Hercule! He did beat Cell after all. <laughs> A good martial artist does not become tense, but ready. Hold on, let me not turn this up. Yet not dreaming, ready for whatever may come. But some fighters are dumb enough to ignore the legendary Bruce Lee's words. Like mm -hmm. Hercule Satan, the world martial arts champion. And Dan Habiki, the Psycho Street Fighter. <laughs> Who is an arm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Hercule, Hercule, Hercule. The Earth was in danger. The future of mankind threatened by a monster named Cell. All would Who Hercule viciously the beat. Could best him in the ring of like literally, it was so gruesome the they had to edit it and make the Z fighters beat him. Afro of one man, Hercule Satan. Mm-hmm. Bye. Yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> Officially, Mr. Satan is the world martial arts champion Mark. and chosen savior of humanity, or so he would have you believe. Well. Hey, if I could lie that well, I'd make everybody think I'm king of the world too, or even God. <laughs> I didn't know his name was Mark. He was the hero of the people. Mr. Satan went by Mark. Eager to learn, <laughs> Mark sought to master the art of combat. Young Mark honed his skills in the dojo Satan Castle, which sounds awesome. Yeah, my hair is not sadly, good. Sadly, no, he was not actually trained by the devil. I looked it up. Turns out he was naturally gifted in Poor Boomstick. Mostly due to his first ride in and now Hercule. Yeah. Like when he won his first world championship after his rival got food poisoning. That's not suspicious at all. <laughs> Victory in hand, Mark took the stage name Mr. Satan in honor of his dojo and to sound better for the cameras. His victories and explosive personality quickly rocketed him to a life of wealth, fame, and luxury. Which almost came to an end when he and his master got drunk and made fun of some random guy's ponytail. Turns out this Don't make fun of people here. So it's not nice. Who then murdered his master? Remember, kids, stick I wish I could kill people with my tongue. Guns, but words should never be used against a tree surfing murderer. From that day forward, Mr. Satan swore he would never fight anyone whose identity was a secret or who seemed out of his league. <laughs> you forget about that when Zell showed up. Anyway, somewhere along the line, Mr. Satan married a lady named Miguel, and after a round or two in the ovarian ring, had a daughter. Oh, and then his <laughs> wife died. Wow, come on, Boomstick, show some tact. <clears throat> Despite his grief, Mr. Satan never let his loss interrupt his lifestyle. He filled the hole in That's his sad. life. He knew how. With more wow. martial arts, he mastered techniques like his dynamite kick and megaton punch, which sounds wow. like they would make you explode or something. Epic Poor like Hercule. That. But they're actually just regular kicks and punches. And I knew she was really dead, but Boomstick, come on. Some words while fighting. Hey, this is anime after all. I feel more than a little underwhelmed by this guy right now. Well, Mr. Satan's techniques were enough for him to legitimately win the 24th World Martial Arts Tournament, becoming the champion of the world and chosen savior to battle Cell. But we already know how that wins. <laughs> I could watch that over and over. In fact... <laughs> Get away from me, bitch. <laughs> Mr. Satan actively avoids fighting those who clearly outclass him, mostly to save his own reputation. The first time he saw people flying and shooting beams from their hands, he thought it was a bunch of cheap tricks and pyrotechnics. Even after seeing the most epic Kamehameha beam struggle of all time, he still denied everything. <laughs> it's all a trick, I swear. Someday I'll bring it all to life. 
I will. I can't believe that you're still saying that. But just in case he puts <laughs> himself in over his head, Mr. Satan is packing an assortment of capsules containing jetpacks, disguised explosives, and even missile launchers. Man, if those existed in real life, it would be a TSA nightmare. Yeah, he does have missiles. I don't know how Dan could survive that. He often weasels his way out of dangerous scenarios with lame excuses like faking stomach aches. And somehow, the entire world buys his crap every single time. <laughs> I did it! For years, I've been trying to perfect a variation of the Megaton Punch that uses latent energy to cause a delayed reaction to catch my opponent off guard! Yeah! <laughs> when in doubt, work the crowd. I love all of you! Who are you talking to? Every single one of you. Like and subscribe! Mr. Satan is a master of deception, an excellent actor, and a complete fraud. Still, he is strong enough to rip three phone books in half and pull four buses by himself. And once he actually moved faster than the untrained eye can see, but forgot bullets move fast too. Well, I have to say something nice about the guy. Wow. At least he's not Yamcha. Mr. Satan has won the World Martial Arts Tournament upwards of 26 times. They just have to get a Yamcha joke in there. One of them was legitimate. Yeah, the other times he rigged it by having Mr. Boo kick everyone's ass and then lose to him on purpose. Still, it's pretty impressive he managed to befriend <laughs> one of the most dangerous and untamed monsters in the Dragon Ball universe. Oh, and one time he convinced the whole world's population to stick their hands up in the air and then wave them around like they just don't care, but whatever. Boomstick that saved the world. Eh. Mr. Satan is motivated by three things, money, fame, and his daughter. Who he seems to prize above all else. That's nice. Mr. Krabs should give that a try. Mr. Satan still finds a way to rise above his fears through his own bravery. Wait, did I just say bravery? I meant thick headedness and straight up stupidity. <laughs> Conceptualized in retaliation of SNK's blatant ripoff of Capcom's characters, Dan Hibiki was always meant to be a complete joke. Dan had no natural talent in fighting people, but his father, Go Hibiki, was a martial arts master with his own dojo. One day, Go's dojo was visited by Sagat, an enforcer of the crime syndicate Shadaloo. As an advocate of justice, Go refused I like the music to be the crime lord and stood up to him the only way he knew how. By kicking his freaking eye out, Ooh. Sagat literally beat him to death in front of his own son. That should teach you to mess with a seven foot four Muay Thai monster. It didn't. Hmm, so it that's what happened to his eye. Dan swore he would avenge his father's death. To do so, he sought out a legendary dojo hidden in the wilderness of Japan. This thing is more elusive than child support to my ex. It seems like the more time we spend here, the more questions arise. Yeah. Like who the hell's dad? Against all odds, Dan found it. He was trained. You know the funny thing about this fight? Both of these guys seem like losers, but they could probably beat any normal person. Dan began the difficult journey of mastering the use of he as a weapon of justice. Until Goku expelled him because he just just sucked. <laughs> well, technically it was because Goku didn't want his training only used for revenge, but let's face it, he knew he was wasting his time. However, Dan's determination for vengeance continued. He took the little he had learned from Goku and ironically combined it with some Muay Thai. This became his very own martial art, the Psycho Ryu fighting style. Unfortunately, while that sounds awesome, it didn't really work out. Dan's Aww. fighting style is... well... It sucks. It's awful. There's absolutely nothing redeemable about it. I mean, he can use special moves like the Koryuken and the Dan Kukiyaku. Which are like the dollar store versions of awesome stuff like the Shoryuken and Tetsumaku, well, whatever it's called. <laughs> Dan Kukiyaku? Did he seriously name one of his moves after himself? Yeah, he's pretty full of himself. Which is why the Psycho style's strongest technique is excessive taunting. He can taunt while jumping, somehow increasing his airtime. And by focusing all his energy at once, Dan can perform a taunt so fearsome it will shock and amaze all who witness it just by being the most worthless thing they've ever seen. <laughs> this is the legendary taunt. Here I come! Hola! What's the problem? Don't underestimate me. I'm awesome! Woohoo! Piece of cake! 
Now, Dan can manage to a fireball projectile called the Godokin. In a way, the Godokin is symbolic of Dan himself. Yeah, it's tiny, pathetic, and doesn't last very long. Despite this, Dan eventually tracked down his father's killer and offered to make his left eye match his right. In turn, Sagat politely offered to reunite father and son. The long-awaited clash of fists began, a clash in which Dan was bent on retribution. What? Oh shoot, he won? Yes. Dan finally mm -hmm. received the recompense he had sought for so long and trained his entire life for because Sagat threw the fight in pity. Completely oh. aware of his luck and now confident he was, was like, the huh? biggest in the world, Dan founded his own dojo to unfortunately teach other people his worthless martial arts. Thanks to God, not only have you killed this man's father, but you're ruining other kids' lives now too. Oh. You'll be happy to know that not many students actually enrolled in his class because he kept forgetting to pay his phone bill and did not include his dojo's address in his commercials. <laughs> Classic Dan. By the way, what's up with the pink gi? Well, it was originally white, but then he accidentally washed it with colors. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. <laughs> Making fun of Dan is fun and all, but let's be honest, he's not a complete pushover. He can take down multiple thugs at once, and even endure a beating from Ryu and Ken simultaneously. Oh. No matter how many times he falls, Dan will always get right back up. And remember how Goken rejected him because of his thirst for vengeance? That's because Dan can actually tap into the Satsui no Hado, the evil, deadly energy that transforms Goken's brother Akuma into an island-smashing murderer. We're not joking here. Once Dan did access his Satsui no Hado to use the dreaded Raging Demon, a move which obliterates the victim's soul. Damn! If Dan can do it, I can do it! Alright, watch out, Wiz. Here it comes. Ah! <laughs> Poor Boomstick. Overconfident taunting gets him into trouble. He is his own worst enemy. Mm -hmm. But even after crying like a baby from stubbing his toe, Dan doesn't let any of it keep him down for long. Mm -hmm. After all, who else will carry on the heroic legacy of Go Habiki? Who do you get? Daddy O! Father! All right, I might actually be wrong on this one. Let's end this debate once and I hope not, because I've I've never been wrong about a death battle even once. Oh, I started with Gara versus Toph, and I haven't been wrong since. But I don't know. Dan can use the Raging Demon. Maybe he'll use that to beat Hercule. But I'm still going with Hercule. Let's see if I actually get this right or wrong. <laughs> oh yeah. You yeah, dude. yeah. You wish, chump. I hope you're ready for a beating. This is gonna be great. <laughs> a weakling like you stands no chance. It sounds like Mario Kart music. Now here's my impression of Dan. Oh my god! Oh. I couldn't dive off the arena. Say I slipped due to my sheer muscle mass. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Holy crap, how long is this gonna take? <laughs> Of 
training and grueling exercise, these pathetic phonies cheap tricks won't work on me. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> My challenger snuck them into my road to get me disqualified. Can't even face me like a man. Oh, sweet, a jet. Oh. What? Hey. Yeah. Time for the next evolution of my martial arts. Uh, oh, boy. Ultimate rocket boost. He took her kill jet back. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, I was about to ask if it was out of fuel or not. Oh, come on, Hercule. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Is that a bob -omb? Yeah, that's a bob -omb. Okay, now it's out of fuel. Ah, crap. Bye, Dan. <laughs> I kind of don't want this battle to end. I can't believe it, folks. The match is still on. And Mr. Saint's limitless... Yeah, it's still on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Aha! Yes, that's right. I tired him out. Me, Mr. Satan. That was my plan all along. <laughs> what am I doing? I can't lose to this Joker. I have to win. For my father! Uh-oh. Is that it? It looks like this is the end. Yeah! <laughs> this is over! Oh, man! Whoa! I've never seen it. Oh! Satan and Dan Habiki may be pretty pathetic in context, but keep in mind, before the Cell Saga, Mr. Satan was actually a legitimate world champion. <laughs> like Dan, who only yeah, had that's what I said. To win to his name, and it was handed to him out of pity. And Mr. Satan has proven time and time again that he is stronger than the average athletic man. He once pulled four tour buses, which is nearly 60 tons, and then he punched through one of them. That's a sheet of steel right there. Dan struggles to throw a single guy over his shoulder. Mr. Satan once broke through a tower of 19 tiles with a single chop and is the only character in Dragon Ball history to have fought both Cell and Majin Buu and not die. Think about that. Dan's key is <laughs> his ace in the hole, but in true Hibiki fashion, it amounted to nothing but failure. Just like the time he managed to pull off the Raging Demon, only to be stopped by a high school girl's backpack. The key to Dan's Wow. Failure. Came from within. The winner is Hercule Satan. All right, Hercule, who's next? Next time on Death Battle. He said it weird. I like the music. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? No, really, who is it? I have no clue. Uh, is that someone from that ruby thing? I've never seen it. 
I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Someone I don't know. Hey, I'm Shadow. I play Boomstick. I mean, I, I know what Ruby is, just never seen it. Don't plan to, but. Yeah. Hercule yeah, 1. Woohoo! Right again. He doesn't always dress like this. 